How a Deception Operation Changed the Course of World War II During World War II, both the Allied and Axis powers employed various tactics to gain the upper hand on the battlefield. One such tactic was deception, which played a critical role in the outcome of the war. In this video, we'll be exploring one of the most famous deception operations of the war, Operation Mincemeat. This operation, carried out by the British, played a critical role in the Allied victory by deceiving the German forces and diverting their attention from the planned invasion of Sicily. By early 1943, the Axis powers had made significant gains across the entirety of the European continent. The Mediterranean was a key strategic location for both sides, as it provided access to vital shipping routes and allowed for control of North Africa. The Allies recognized the importance of the region and made the decision to invade Sicily, with the ultimate goal of securing control of the Mediterranean. This invasion of Sicily was to be called Operation Husky. A huge force was assembled, involving a combined 160,000 Allied troops, including British, American, and Canadian soldiers, as well as troops from several other Allied nations. The scale of the operation was immense, involving a complex network of troops, aircraft, ships, and logistical support. Troops were due to land on several different beaches along the southern and eastern coasts of the island. Aware of the strategic importance of Sicily, the defending Germans had heavily fortified their positions on the island, creating significant obstacles for the invading force. In order to gain the upper hand, the Allies needed a way to deceive the Germans and divert their attention away from the planned invasion. This is where Operation Mincemeat comes into play. The Allies recognized the need to distract the German forces and divert their attention away from the planned invasion of Sicily. Deception operations have proven successful in the past, such as Operation Bodyguard which was used to deceive the Germans about the location of the D-Day landings. The Allies knew that if they could successfully carry out a deception plan, it could mean the difference between success and failure in their mission to control the Mediterranean. The stakes were high for Operation Mincemeat as the potential consequences of it being discovered by the Germans could have been catastrophic. If the Germans had realized that the body and the accompanying false documents were part of a deception plan, they could have redirected their forces and potentially stopped the Allies from gaining control of the Mediterranean. Operation Mincemeat involved a complex plan that included using a dead body to carry false information to the Germans. The planning stages were meticulous and included the selection of a suitable corpse, the creation of a convincing backstory, and the choice of false information to be included with the body. Amongst the personal items on the body was an identity card, personal letters, a photograph of a fiancé, a few bills and a theatre ticket. The Allies selected the body of Glyndor Michael, a homeless Welshman who had died from pneumonia, to be used in the operation. To create a convincing backstory, the Allies planted false documents on Michael that indicated he was a courier for the British military and that he was carrying top-secret information about a planned invasion of Greece. The documents were specifically chosen to mislead the Germans, who were already expecting an invasion in the region. The execution of Operation Mincemeat required a carefully orchestrated plan to transport the corpse and the accompanying false documents to the German intelligence. The body was dressed in a Royal Marines uniform, and then placed in a canister that was attached to a submarine. HMS Seraph then travelled to the coast of Spain, where the body was released and left to drift to shore. Once the canister was discovered, the Germans were quick to act on the false information contained within. They believed that the Allies were planning an invasion of Greece, and they immediately redeployed troops and resources to prepare for the supposed attack. The Germans had fallen for the deception, and the diversion of their forces played a crucial role in the success of the Allied invasion of Sicily. The Allies were able to capitalize on the deception by successfully invading Sicily and gaining control within a month. 
The capture of the island provided the Allies with a strategically important base in the Mediterranean that allowed them to launch further offensives against the Axis powers. The island's natural resources, including its harbors, airfields, and ports, were also important assets that the Allies could use to support their military campaigns. Furthermore, the successful invasion of Sicily denied the Germans access to these resources, significantly hindering their operations in North Africa. The capture of Sicily also forced the Germans to divert troops and resources to defend the island, weakening their overall defensive capabilities on other fronts. The impact of Operation Mincemeat on the course of the war cannot be overstated. The diversion of German forces allowed the Allies to gain a foothold in the Mediterranean and ultimately led to their victory in the region. The success of the operation also established a template for future deception operations, which would become an integral part of Allied strategy for the remainder of the war. In 1998, after the British government identified the body as Glyndor Michael, a new inscription was added to his gravestone. Glyndor Michael, served as Major William Martin, Royal Marine. If you've enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing to learn more.